It's our constitution, right, as council people, and y'all are pushing stuff down our throats, and then it blows up in everybody's face after it leaves the table because no one has read it, no one has given it to us. Simple. Background check. Mass is trying to get a background check. Yes, and it was also emailed what, what yesterday. What is it called? Ma and Ma Madam President, right Madam President, for the record, this is something that has been required for many years. The Cowan comments have been required to provide their information every year. This is nothing new. All it is is putting it in writing. And this is how you show. The vision. Master, do you have it in your folder? Resolution? And it was also emailed to everyone. But did you see it? I'm quite sure. I'm going to be very happy. It was also emailed to everyone. Did you have that in your background check? Did you see it before the night? 30 years ago. Oh, I did it when I started. Every year, the Cowan comments have been required by Tonette Prey to provide their child abuse clearances. This is something, it's simple. Why isn't this resolution in everybody's? Okay. Well, do you want me to go print it out? I'd like to make a motion since it's already been It was been emailed to everyone. I'd like to make a motion. I would like to table this until everyone sees it. It's not even in everybody's box. And while we're talking about the mailboxes, I have come up here almost every day repeatedly to get into my mailbox, and I can't get into my mailbox if she and Darren Your mailbox will be moved to Yo, Paul. Paul, Thank I have you. a question. I have a question. Paul Muser. Yes. When I came on this council in 2004, right. where was my mailbox? I don't remember that. Oh, Joe, that's hey. stupid. It was right there. That's right downstairs. 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 Problem Come on, who won't have a required background this check baloney. because we're working with children. I personally don't see, I don't see that this being a problem no. to pass this resolution, especially no. if you're working with our children. Right. I understand, right. but you want to know right. something? Why do we right. and me and Martha sit up here and you know and everybody else know, but we don't know, but y'all expect us to and, vote? And I'll explain to you again. I went back and forth with Paula and Angie on a Saturday. There was 32 emails between the three of us. I'm not against okay. it. What I'm against so this is, is the reason I why understand I that. And I understand that, Pat, but then that means the seven of us should read it or at least have access to it and it don't mean nothing about email because you might not even be going in your email you may not even know you may have a virus you may not even have a computer it should be in your mailbox where you can get it now i have come up here every day after i get off my bus to get my mail you're so never I here. I haven't had any ample time to get my mail because she's not here when I come and my mailbox is in the office. All I'm saying is I understand how here. this Send is, but we here. are still council people and we still know. have the right to read the stuff before we vote on it. That's all I'm mail saying. Madam President, you have a motion? You have a motion? To approve the resolution, which we seconded, right. and then I don't have it. We have a motion to table. Can I see a copy table. of the resolution, please? Then, My here, point. Here, here, here. Jesus Christ. Paula, please. Because we're going to be voting on. I want to see what it looks like. It just says you have to be. I don't want to talk to you, Paula. And Ms. Van Walken made a motion to table that was seconded by Ms. Prey. You've had debate on the motion to table. So it will be appropriate now to vote on the motion to table the resolution. Okay, and um, so you mean tell me this means that every year, every one the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the football team, all those people have to have done every year? Yes, I have them downstairs. Absolutely. Because Tonette Break required them to. So now we're just putting it in writing. It's something that Tonette Prey required the Colwyn Comets to do every I single it was year. A idea, Paula? It's no. a great idea. No. So, no. so put it in writing. No. No. And they have to pay for no. it. We don't pay for no. it. So pay. Is the crossing guards getting their study every year too? Yes. They're on file. Deal, 
Like, you don't have to do it every year. She's what she's fucking doing. What's, 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 what's the problem with Somebody could get arrested six months from now, and if we don't get it next year, we don't know. No. Patricia Lee had it done working for the school district. This is not required as long as they are employees of the school district. They do not have to do this every year. Yeah, one deal. and done. And let's the borough if if you work if you're here for the school district. Right. And six months later you get arrested just because you gave a, a background check that was clear. Next year we don't know whether you're arrested for child molestation or not. Officers had passed their test for their driving license. Do they have to go every year? That's not. No, 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 no. Answer the question. That's, yes or no. If they get arrested, it goes on their record. Right, and you know. And if you're this is a simple background that it, it only lasts for a year. It's expired after one year. You're wrong. Check with the Pennsylvania You're State wrong. Police. Check You're with them. Wrong. It expires after one year. That's All we're doing wrong. is I trying to Joseph protect to our kids. It does not. I okay. Can I have a motion on the table to table? Yeah, we have that. We have that. The motion to table is there. Martha made the motion. Roll call vote on the table of the motion. Go ahead. Mrs. Prey, yes. vote to table. Yes. Mrs. Van Auken. I'm sorry, what, did, what was your I vote? I vote to table. I made the motion. Okay, yes. just checking. President Williams. Yes, table until this is corrected. Mr. Lesher. If, if it needs to be corrected, I'll vote to table. What are the corrections that need to be made? No, we're in the middle of a vote now. You require what, 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 it every wait, year. I, 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 I want to know, know, but if they want to change one line in the thing, it's going to make everybody happy. God bless them. Can, can, can I just say something? No, it yeah. says, no, 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 a no, current, no. it says parallel. you must have no. a current application. Mrs. Brown. A current. Mrs. Brown. Could you read, could you read the resolution? I think we should read the, yes. What did you Yes. Okay. The current. Uh, uh, First of all, you can't come up here with right. with with a certificate that's not, a year old. It's not a requirement to have your background check every year. What does now, it say? I, what does I, the I resolution say? say? We're in the middle of a vote. I think I we should read the resolution. Now. We are in the middle well, of a vote every year. Not I, one teacher in the state of Pennsylvania does this every year. Not one teacher. I, I, I got. I wish I could talk to the solicitor and find out. I think we should read the resolution in into the, the record. Of a vote. How does she get the? You need to the read the resolution vote. into the record I, I so you understand what it says. Can you finish calling roll, please, Mr. Lesher? He's already voted. Voting to yes. table. Yes or no? He said. You know, everybody's jumping up and down over nothing. He said yes. Don't have a place to go. No, 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 that has nothing to do with it. She has her, no, Mr. Lesher, she has her clearances on file. It has nothing to do with the Girl Scouts. She, her background checks are on file. I have her current background. Thank you. Please Thank you. No. No to table. No, you made him change his. I didn't make, no, I'm telling him the truth. Table. No. In the middle of no. the table. Table. Yes or no to table. Excuse me, Paul. It has. It has. It has nothing to do with the Girl Scouts. She. Angela Smith has has her current background checks on file in this borough hall. That motion has nothing to do with Angela Smith and the Girl Scouts. And they Paula. are more than welcome to use Mrs. this Brown. facility. Brown. They turned it down. Brown. Yes. You always recite what's right and what's wrong. When you're in the middle of roll call, there is no 
no discussion. Okay, so and, can we finish? And, we need masses vote. You are not a council person. So I never I don't claimed know why to you be. Have so much discussion in the middle of the motion. So I threw up the resolution. I'm trying to explain it. You're, it's we being purported wrongly. You should not have to go, Mrs. Camara. We need to finish the roll call. Though. We're voting on to table right. the motion. What we supposed well, to be finished? So far, it is three three. I didn't hear stop. Finish the vote. I didn't hear. No, no, my vote was no. It's it, it, it's it's just protecting our children. Mrs. Kamara, your vote. Uh, table. So the motion to table passes four to three. Okay. okay. And that still does not stop the fact that Angie needs a background check to work with children. But she, she has it. She gave up work for but the now you're not requiring it for others. She she was good enough to provide it. So now any group can come in here without a background check and work with children. And then we will bring it back to the table. Okay. I just have one little line to read. Can I read it? And it's from the borough code. Is it about? You said there's nothing on the table right now. And I'm standing up because I've hurt my back. So don't scream and holler at me if I stand up. I'm not allowed to stand up. You sit down. She has a bare back. Oh, you yes, so do I. I got a bare back. You want to rub it? Come on, Madam President. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just wanted I just wanted to read this because in the borough code it says that um, the borough secretary treasury and um, can all be held by the same person. But also in that borough code it says the office of secretary and treasury may be held by the same person when it is authorized by an ordinance. We do not have an ordinance giving our secretary and our treasurer to be the same person. We have an ordinance for the treasurer, and then we have another ordinance for the secretary. Ms. Windsor, you're out of order, please. And that is in the Borough Code Book of Kyle Wynn. And it's under, and I will give you, I'm going to give you where it is. And it is, it's, it's the borough secretary is 4.1. And the borough treasury is, where is the borough treasury? It's in here. It's, it's in here. But under the borough code, we cannot have the same person serving unless we make it an order. And that's in the borough code. And let me tell you what, where it is in the borough code. The borough code is under section. It's under the article powers, duties, and rights of appointed officers and employees. It's under the general provision. It's after 1101, but it's 1101 E. Madam President, Tonette, I brought a motion up to bring Sharita Jackson in here you can for that back. reason, and you table it. And you table it. But you're supposed to bring it back. Oh, no, okay, no, you table it. it. I mean, okay. you know, Sharita was sitting here, she came three times, and you tabled it. Because you just want to be difficult. I'm not okay? just going to Just want to be difficult. I want to bring the law. Her secretary, but you're the one, just for the record, I'm you're the one that tabled it because you're a little child sitting up here because you ain't the president no more. Okay, so you make it much difficulty as possible. Okay, you table the motion. You table when I brought the private secretary here. You table it. The only reason I tabled it because we had, we had, we had, we had residents who wanted to put in applications. That was the meeting that we had residents asking could they put in. Yeah, we have 
Mr. Lynch, this should be difficult. Thank you, Madam Mr. President. Mr. Lynch, I can I you can uh, farm uh, whatever you want. Madam I don't care. President, I, call. I, I, I passed out. I apologize. I, didn't, I don't mean it to be last minute, but I got a contact today from the school district about 4.30 this afternoon from Mr. Cuff, the business manager. Uh, and this relates to the development of the bus lot uh, at the properties at Water and Main Streets. Um, the school district, again, would, would like to try to move forward with the development. They've done a lot of the work. Um, I think that they're coming to the conclusion of the project. I know Mr. Rodriguez has been talking, working with the school district. Um, uh, by way of historical background, at the council's meeting on September uh, the 17th, 2013, Council approved a final land development plan for the William Penn School District to be able to construct the bus lot. The William Penn School District had to, uh, subject to certain conditions that were imposed <coughs> at the time. The school district needs to needed to update uh, the final plan in conformity with that approval before it could be recorded. Um, they, I don't believe they did that at the time. Um, under the municipality planning code, your approval lasts for a period of 90 days. Uh, and they're supposed to record that plan within the 90 days. Again, they, for whatever reason, they did not do that. Um, so they are trying now to get ourselves in line so that we can come to the conclusion of uh, that project uh, so that they can ask for use an occupancy permit to utilize the bus depot and the bus lot. Uh, I have a question. So what I've done is what they asked is they need to be able to try to record the plan. Um, what, so what you would need to do, uh, if you so desire to do it, uh, would be to, um, again, affirm the approval of that <coughs> plan, and that would start the clock again for the school district that they would have 90 days to re make changes and record the final plan. Okay, I have um, So that's what the proposed resolution okay. is, is that you would reapprove the plan uh, under the same terms and conditions as the original approval, and attached to it is the um, letter, uh, the written decision uh, that is required by the municipal pa municipality's planning code that was sent on, um, I'm sorry, you approved it on, the council approved it September 12th. Right. The letter was sent September 17th. Uh, so this is really just a reapproval of that plan in order to move the project forward. And I apologize for, I didn't have it before, but like I said, I got contacted at about 4.30 today, uh, you know, with that, and rather than wait a whole other month uh, to list it, uh, as long as there's not a, a large issue or problem with it, I wanted to try to get that on the agenda tonight uh, so the school district can move forward with that. I have a question because I brought this question to our engineer. And if I have to get it again from our other engineer, the school district is trying to break the 